Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and in this session we are going to talk about how we can import and export Power Automate flow across the environment. So now, let's get started. Now, let me talk about some real life examples where we need to export and import the flow. Let's say for an example, you have production and development environment separately. Once you have developed your flow in your development environment, you want to move that to your production environment. At that time also, this concept is very useful. Second use case is, let's say you have created one of the power automate flow in one of your SharePoint list, right? Now you are going to create same list for another site, right? So. At that time, we do not need to recreate the entire flow from the scratch. We can easily export and import the flow and just make few connection changes and we are good to go. Right? I am going to talk about that thing in detail during this session. Let's say consider this example. I have this LMS approval flow. So I have prepared this LMS approval flow on one of my SharePoint list. My SharePoint site name is LMS and my list name is UserLives. I have created this entire flow when the item is created to this SharePoint list, right? And my entire approval process is working as expected manner, right? Now I want to move this particular flow from this particular site to my destination site which is this one. I have similar site on my another site collection which is destination site right so how can i do that right so first of all we are going to export our flow and then we are going to import our flow to that site right so for that let's just uh, this is my power automate flow so once you open that flow you would be having the export option just expand the export option and here we have the package option so just create the zip package over here just provide appropriate name of your export package so i am just providing lms approver right now from here you just need to select import setup so i am going to create this flow as a new so i am just create i am just setting create as new right same way from action just select create as new and all the other related resources would be set up during the import process right now just click on export so that will download the export package for you so just click on allow so yes my package has been downloaded successfully now let me show you that package to you so you can see that lms approver package has been downloaded successfully right now what we need to do here is we just need to import that package right so at this moment i do not have the different environment i am using the same environment just go to my flow section from the left navigation here we have the import option on the top so just click on import option now we need to upload our zip package just upload the zip package so i am uploading the package so this will show this type of screen to us now we need to make some changes to the related resources section so just click on select during import process now here what we need to do here is let's say if your environment doesn't have that connection then you just need to click on setting and you just need to create the new connection so because there is a possibility that when you are importing that flow in the new environment you do not have the appropriate connection for that so you just need to click on second setting gear and that will redirect you to the connection gear and from there you can build the new connection as well so you just need to click on new connection and you just need to select the appropriate data source for your connection right now at this moment i am using the same environment only the difference is that my list is different right so i am just using the already created connection here so that is converted to cross mark same way for email i just need to use this connection and for this one i am using this connection right 
and now we just need to click on import so the package is being importing at this moment and here we are all package resources were successfully imported the flow has been created successfully run the flow to make sure the thing is working and now we just need to click on open flow so that will open your flow over here like this right now here we need to make some configuration changes right because the thing is that my list name is changed here right now uh, i am now i am targeting this flow on the destination site so i just need to select the destination site and same way just change the list name from here rest of the thing almost same here let's see that yep it working as expected now here also we just need to change the url of the site so my site is destination and my list name is user lives so we just need to select that that's all and apart from that i think i'm good and we just need to click on save right so now this flow is configured on my destination site user lives list right so that will save our lots of time you know for recreating the entire flow again we can easily export and import the flow like this you can do the same procedure across the other environment as well like let's say for an example in your environment you have one flow and you want to move that flow to another environment you can follow the same procedure only the difference is that i have shown over there like if connection is not appear over there you just need to make the connection over there that's the only thing that you need to perform as additional step but it is also very straightforward and very easy right now one important thing you can do the same procedure if you have the different tenant let's say your development tenant is totally different and your production tenant is totally different so you can also follow the same procedure across the tenant as well right so same concept will be used over there as well so this is how we can easily export and import the power automate flow across the environment or across the tenant or across the sites right hope this is clear for you now if you are for the if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, podcast. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my WhatsApp channel, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new release on your WhatsApp number. Also, if you wish to receive also if you wish to listen different podcasts just click on this link it will be redirecting you to my podcast home page here so many different podcast platform available so you can listen your favorite podcast on apple podcast google podcast spotify or any other platform from here stay tuned with me this is thruvin signing off have a great day goodbye